This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. So one of the things that happens is, and, and let's use our auto dealer um, uh, example. Many auto dealerships in their used car lot will take in a lease fleet. So maybe a bunch of cars that Comcast has used or a bunch of cars that uh, Southwestern uh, Bell has used, and so AT&T now. And so they've got a dozen Toyotas that are the same color, the same uh, time frame, the same year. So you've got, uh, you know, 30 identical 2017 Toyotas sitting on your lot. They're all painted white. Your buyer comes in and she identifies a particular low mileage one that's very, very clean. She says, that is the car I want. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, my credit union is going to finance it for me and I'll be back with a check tomorrow for, you know, $10,000. Well, she shows up the next day and the dealership pulls a white Toyota out, but it's got much higher mileage and it is not in nice, as nice a condition as the one that the buyer picked out. There is a mutual mistake. The dealership thought she would take any car in the batch. The buyer specifically wanted to make sure that she got a particular one. Uh, 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 Alfonso, go ahead. Did she leave a deposit? Uh, very good point, because as you know from the previous chapter, needed to be consideration. Most of the time people do leave a deposit and then oftentimes because they've driven themselves to the dealership, they say, you get the car ready for me, I'm going to line up financing, I'll be back tomorrow to pick up the car. It's not binding unless there's consideration. So good, good very good question. Uh, any other questions about that? But that's mutual mistake. Now, suppose that she assumes that they're going to give her the car that she thinks she's going to get, and she shows up and they say, well, you know, there's 30 of these white Toyotas. We just take the next one in line, and that's the one you're going to get. So she may be unhappy with the deal because she made a mistake. She thought she was going to get a particular one or her pick of them. But the dealership says, no, that's not the deal we, we have here. You're going to take the first one in line because we don't want to move the other 10 cars that are in front of it to get to the one you think you want. They're all pretty similar. So uh, it, it is a pretty interesting situation. So if it's a unilateral mistake, you're stuck with the deal. If it's a mutual mistake, it may be the court will grant relief and just say there was no deal. This is Dr. David D. Shine for Business Law 101. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform.